first of all, guys, I actually want to record some Warzone gameplay for this video, but somehow my gameplay always turns out like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, hello and welcome to this brand new guide where I'm going to show you how to stream your favorite game on a budget pretty much the cheapest way possible and we're going to talk about how to render your entire live stream on a separate budget build without an actual capture card itself. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how you get your hands on some cheap components. What's kinda shocking to me is that all of these big streamers always use high-end PCs for encoding. I mean I get it, they get the partnerships and it looks fancy and nice, but in reality you actually don't need two 2080 Ti's for rendering a solid 720p 60fps stream, especially since that's actually what most people do stream on. Before we get into the video, I want to actually make clear that using a second PC for all the rendering stuff is not going to remove the entire workload from your main gaming PC, so be sure that you're at least in the upper low end up to mid end section of gaming PCs or you're really gonna struggle with running those games at a reasonable refresh rate. Unless you're trying to stream uh, some competitive games like the ultimate toaster test like CSGO or Dota 2. Those kind of games will run on everything above a GTX 680 perfectly fine. So since we got rid of that I want to tell you why you should consider investing around $100 into a second PC and not upgrade your current one. Since AMD Ryzen's demolished every competition in the multitask CPU scene, a lot of people could actually push themselves um, to upgrade uh, towards a newer Ryzen CPU. That's why you can find a lot of older i5 mobile bundles with around 4 to 8 gigs of RAM for under $50, which is absolutely crazy and the main reason why I made this video. This basically added with a cheap SSD and a power supply gives you a full equipped streaming PC, especially since most of those older i3 and i5s do come with an integrated graphics unit. And considering that we're only going to use the CPU for the rendering, we're basically done here with building our second system. And all you need to do is select the right codec, which should be the Software X264 codec in OBS. And depending on how powerful your CPU is, you can try out some different settings and see what works out the best for you. And this pretty much gives you the opportunity to create a solid stream without spending hundreds of dollars on an entire new build. And basically all you have to do is get the OBS NDI plugin on both of your computers, then go to your main one and set the NDI output. Then the second PC will automatically find your gaming PC and give you the option to use that one as in source. From there on all you have to do is adjust the stream quality and you're basically done. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to smash a like and see you guys in the next video. If you still got any questions, just ask them in the comments. I try to answer as many as possible.